Nico, the co-main, uh, Nico Montano against uh, or Montano against uh, uh, Valentina Shevchenko. I'll tell you right that now, that is a great fight. How many fights does uh, Montana have? And she's tough. I like her a lot. She's got seven fights and uh, many... eighteen. Okay. All right. And you know, uh, Valentina is just such a. I like Nico. She was on here the other day, and she's, she's very lovely, sweet girl, and she's and she's tough. She comes from a really good camp. And uh, but Valentina, man, is she a badass? When do we do our picks? Should we do them today. What's today? I guess we have to. Oh shoot! Oh my god, we yeah. have to. I forgot. Yeah, man. All right, uh, I'm taking. Uh, a, all right, first of all, I'm picks. taking a, a, a Zabit Magomed Shripov against. Uh, oh, there's a new card. I was just going to joke and say Yaya Rodriguez. I was taking him. Can you? I, I have not even seen the new card yet. If you could put that up. No, the, click on the. <laughs> it's funny. Oh. Hi, Lou. Wait, are we starting with who? Who are we starting with? Oh, I thought this was the actual main card of everything. Uh, no, I want to see Zabit's fight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Up top right. Top right. It's... Okay, it's okay. It's against Brandon Davis. Uh, he's 9-4. and four. Wait, hold on. I got a problem with this. Why is he Killer B when there's already a Killer B? We got Ben Saunders as Killer B. That's a good question. All right. People could have the same nickname. Who knows? Yeah. Brandon, Killer B, I get it. Uh, hey man, that's a that's a tall order. Uh, Zabit is a stud, and I'll tell you, I don't know what happened to uh, Yair, but Zabit is basically saying, "Hey dude, you might be." He's basically calling him a chicken, basically. Well, it seems like uh, <laughs> Yair did not want to fight him, and least Yair said that was not true. When we interviewed him. Yeah. I'm going to take in this fight. I'm taking Zabit. Zabit by a second round submission. I'm going to say... I've been pretty good with my picks. I'm going to say it's a beat by a, a first round uh, TKO. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go... Wait, go to that first fight with uh, uh, Price. Yeah, Nico Price, of course. Nico Price, who took out our good friend... Um, I mean, that uh, was Randy. Recently. Randy Brown. Yeah, that was Randy a recent... When, when was that fight? That seemed like that was two and, and you know what's funny? Randy was just in seeing me recently, and he's like, man, is, is anything like is obvious that i need to work on and what do you see i'm like dude to be honest with you man i that was you were doing he was doing all the right things how, how did uh, nico win that fight he by hammer fist from bottom which that's never, right it oh was my a God. And, yes and by fucking he randy held him in, he held him in place his I mean, leg, listen, right i mean obviously hindsight's always 2020 but randy was doing everything right you're right uh tell me about his opponent right here could you get his uh his his name in right uh here? abdul razak alasan uh, well, let's look at him now. Let's look at his record. nine one and zero. Yeah, how about his last fight? What, what's Abdul's what was uh, last fight? Abdul's last fight? That's the music when we yeah. Go that's look now at um, he beat uh, Sabah Hamasai and he beat uh, uh, beat him twice in a row. Uh, oh, that was the first one was uh, controversial or something and right. I right, go wait, back. Wait, what little, is this? Hold on. I don't know what the fuck? Is I'm that what at. that is? The last few fights. Mm. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's uh can you go back? All right. Uh not to them, to them. All right, man. I listen. This Nico Price, man, he finds a way to win. Yes, he's he wacky. I like this Abdul. And I think he's tough. I think he's dangerous. Then Nico's a nut. And he's and, and he's just a wild man and uh and I enjoy watching him fight. I thought Randy was doing a great job with him last fight, but he got and 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 Nico still found a way to win. I'm going to say Nico Price uh, second round submission. Hi Jimmy, yeah, you're on the fence. No, I'm not. I was What's thinking that. that. Want a hug? I can't. You know what? Yes. No, oh, oh, I no, was no. thinking a submission. I'm going to take him in a first round TKO. Ooh, who are you taking? Nico. Ooh. Nico Price. Ooh. Nico. All right, off t on to the next Let's one. Let's go to Jessica on Andrade to against uh, Karolina Kovalkiewicz. Hmm. Ah, oh, look at them sneaking this fight on I there. Know, I oh, know. Oh, oh, oh. So much fun. What are their I'm last fights? Can we look at e each of their last two fights? Well, Jessica Andrade is tough. She had a, she she had a good fight with, uh, I think she fought Claudia. She uh, beat uh, Tish Torres. Um, her fight with she Claudia, beat Claudia was Gidala, yeah. a close fight, though. Oh, oh man, that's a good fight. Osteoana. And how about uh, uh, Carolina's last fights? And Carolina's very tough too, man. I like Carolina. Carolina.
Paulina. Ba -da 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 okay, yeah, Felice Harrig, she beat, and also uh, uh, Jody Escobar. I'm and going, and she wow, lost to Claudia, wow. and then of course to uh, Joanna. I'm going to take Jessica Andrade in this fight. I'm going to take Jessica Andrade by decision. Wow, it's wow. a very tough fight. But I'm going to take. That it one. is a very tough fight, but I, oh, man, 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 this is a tough one. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take Jessica Andrade by decision. Jimmy. Okay, Can you get to the other fights, please, Lou? Get to the other fights, please, Lou. We're going to go back and see. All right. Nope. Go to the co-main event, please. We already we already did the Zabit one, didn't we? Yep. Yes. All right. Uh, Shevchenko uh, over Montana. Montana, sorry. I'm going to take... <sighs> I can tell you right now, I'm going to take uh, Shevchenko in a first round TKO. No, wow. no, again, no disrespect to Nico. I just think Valentina is too good and she's fighting for a belt. I think Montana is tough and that toughness is going to get her to the third round. And okay. I think that's when the bullet will strike. You might be right. Sorry. I, like that. I, like that I love when you say the bullet Thanks. will strike. It's Thanks. awesome. I'm gonna, I'm, that's probably the last time I'm going to say it, Jimmy, because I think you're being condescending. No, I'm not. All right. I missed you, Jimmy. I missed you too, pal. Okay. Now, Tyron uh, Woodley, of course, against Derek Jones. Wow. Wow, man, I don't know why I'm having trouble with this one. I'm having trouble with this one. Here's what I'm taking. What? Tyron? Yes. Fourth round wow. TKO. Wow. Reason being, wow. they both, I think three out of four of uh, Till's last fights have been decision, and the same with Woodley. I could be incorrect. At least three in a row for Woodley. So these guys are both very comfortable going late in the fight. They're both very comfortable. Uh, they both have gas tanks that get them, you know, that make them effective late in the fight. And a couple of times, I want to say he got to Thompson twice in the fourth round, um, Woodley. Uh, and I just think that he is, again, he's a patient fighter. And I do think that Till's a, you know, a, a good enough fighter to keep him at bay for a little while, but eventually he's going to get through. Third or fourth round, I'm going to have to pick one because nobody wants to hear TKO third or fourth round. So I'm going to go fourth round, TKO, Tyron. Ah, uh, man, oh man, oh man. It's hard for me to pick against Tyron because he's such a stud. But, uh... <sighs> Till couldn't hit him on the left. I mean, you know, obviously. This Darren Till is just, he's a beast and he's so damn focused. I'm gonna, I like, I Why like that? to keep it spicy. Okay, buddy. Oh, by the way, I bought some spicy quinoa burgers that I'm looking forward to tearing into later. I'd love to hear about it. <laughs> 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 uh, listen, I'm I, only because not only because I, I, I man, I really, I, I, I'm really split with this one. I just don't want to do a Chris the producer and say I think they both could win, but they both could of win. Of course they could. I'm gonna say it's time that uh, it's Darren Till's time. I think this kid is undefeated for a reason, and I think uh, I think this. Mm, Tyron is not lost by a TKO in six years. And he is not going to be submitted by Darren Till. And the decisions, he has not even lost. Rory was his last loss, and that's four years ago by decision. When's the last time Darren Till lost he to He's not lost. I'm not splitting hairs. Okay. I like to make it spicy for the audience. Sure do. I'm going with <laughs> Darren Till, and I think he's going to find a home for something in that third round TKO. Okay. I know. It's crazy. I know it's not crazy. crazy. I, no, it's the first one's not crazy. What the no. fuck am I saying? It's crazy. For I mean, it's hard. The guy's nickname's the fucking gorilla. He's a devastating left. He's a big dude, he's man. A, not that much bigger than Tyron, though. No, he's, he's three powerful. Inches. Powerful. He's long arms. And Tyron's powerful too. I'm excited about. This. I am too. And I, I feel there will be a new champion. Okay. Tyron, uh, it's all business. Don't get mad at me. Hey, even though Tyron. You did give my buddy the hi hat. That's he gave a, me a very nice apology, which I don't even feel like I deserved. Did. I just think he didn't recognize. I me. think it wasn't very. I think he's a genuine guy, but I just think he said, "All right, let me just get away. Let me just apologize so this guy doesn't just be a little bitch." Not. You're not right. Call, I'm not he, call, he's Jimmy, correct. One hundred percent. Not calling you. Dude, a bitch, I agree Jimmy. with your assessment, and I think I handled Jimmy, it nicely. He didn't. Even why are you looking at it? Don't fuck. I was gonna you smacked me. But I did smack him. So what? I just didn't think my dick would make that loud of a sound. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Lou? Yeah, Lou. All right, Lou. Lou, what? What? Lou. It, it looks like we did under an hour, but that's no, not right. Oh, okay. It's over an hour. I got so excited when I saw the big clock back up there. I go, all right, we're fixing some fucking problems. And then he just forgot to press start. But let's bygones. Be bygone. 
I'm fat. 228 this Saturday. I can't wait. 10 p.m. I'm, I'm going to be there. I know. Aljo Sterling. I'll be I in his corner. Not. Good luck to Aljo, of course. It's be so much fun. Me and Longo. Uh, it's wave, a good time. Could you wave at me in the middle of the fight? Could you wave and mouth, hi, Jim, in the middle of the fight? Jimmy. I don't want to call you Jimmy. 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 Call me Jimmy. I'm going to go, hi, Jimmy. Thanks. But right now, guess what? What? Do you have any plugs? Uh, yeah. Chip, uh, Chipperson <laughs> Podcast is sold out in Boston, the 15th in Long Island. Matt will be there. There may be some tickets available. And then if you want to see me, I'm going to be in uh, Annapolis, Maryland. I'm going to be in Seattle, Washington. I'm going to be in San Antonio, Texas. I'm going to be somewhere else in Texas. And I am also going to be here in New York City over the next couple of months. JimNorton.com for your tickets. If you want to see me, I'll be at SarahBJJ.com in Long Island. I teach it some of my arm locks and some escapes from Crossside and having a good time and having a laugh. Jimmy, I had so much fun, man. Let's walk out of here together. Good seeing you, pal. I'm glad you're okay. Thank you, Jimmy. Bye, guys. Bye.